What is up everybody? Matty back here with a, another tutorial. So we just had that last video of how to add a vehicle to your 5M server. So now I'm gonna show you how to put a skin on that LEO vehicle. Uh, eventually we might get into some other vehicle additions as well that come as DLC packs. Uh, that's a little bit different how you would do that. But in this particular case, we're just gonna work with that same Zeker car that we had before, the Charger in that video. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and open up our OpenIV. A link for it is in the description below. If you've made it this far i'm assuming you already have it however so we're not going to go through setting up all of this other than to tell you make sure you do operate within your mods folder once you have a mods folder you copy update next 64 into it uh, for the uninitiated because if you ever try to launch gta in a modded environment and let's say you just go to gta online you will get banned uh, so in this particular case it allows you to operate in almost a separate game so once we're in mods we're going to go to update followed by x64 followed by in dlc packs just go to your latest patch day folder in this case it's 23 november golf into dlc back into x64 into levels into gta5 into vehicles.rpf don't worry i will put that in the link in the uh, description below that exact path so what we need to do is actually pull up those zeker car files that we had so let me go ahead and do so got it on my desktop under zeker cars so we're going to go with that 2018 charger that's what we were operating with earlier uh, in that previous video i should say we're going to go to the black wheels we used red and blue these three files right here the charger these are the yft and ytd files that's what we need first off you'll need to make sure you hit edit mode in open iv or it will not let you add the files and we just simply drag and drop we can go ahead and look at the vehicle here and so there we go it's got that particular skin on it right now just the base so we're just going to add a custom skin so i'm going to go into our charger ytd file Okay, we're going to search for sign, that's S-I-G-N, because that is going to be the actual sign on the car. That's the skin. So that's the one that was showing up in game when we added it. That's just because we didn't switch it on over. If we'd actually done a livery change, we could have had this on the car. But we want to add a custom one anyway, don't we? So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm not going to go over the exact basics, how to make it look exactly right. That just takes a lot of tinkering around. We make almost all of our own skins anyway. So it's a matter of using a template uh, that comes with the car, such as, for instance, with this one, we have the template. You would open that with either Photoshop. I personally use paint.net because it's free, uh, but you would open it, edit it, add the skin, build it based on the template, so forth. And you can see where the car is. So in our case, since it's going to be LAPD and LASD, it's going to be black and white. So you just have to get in there and tinker. There's plenty of good videos out there walking you through it step by step, including a couple when I was learning how to do it that give you the exact files, meaning the car itself and the skin that you're going to base it off of. That way you can really walk through the process. I'm just going to show you how to put a finished skin on here now that being said i have not designed a skin for this exact car by zeker so it may not come out looking exactly right but that's not really the point the point is just making it uh just making a video to show you how we would add that skin to it so in this particular case i need to locate my skin so one moment while i pull that up okay this is where i have some of my skins so this is for the 2016 charger which tells me that it more than likely is not going to come out looking right because it's not on the same exact model but i don't really care again that's not the point of this exercise i'm just showing you how to do it we'll do the uh, lasd so i've got a 2k and 4k version i'm always going to try to use the better one so i'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop this right over top there you go it is now on however we got a couple more steps let's go ahead and search for sign again that's going to pull up any of the actual templates or excuse me the uh, the skins on the car what we're going to do is we need it to match whatever the developer had it named even if i have one character wrong it may not transfer over and where we have this when we spawned it in game just because we didn't change the livery well that's what would show up anyway even if you didn't even have this in here as an option you had only let's say this it's still going to show up like that because it wasn't matching up all the file structure and all the naming is important for a reason so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy that name and then let's just go ahead and rename it as well we'll just make it three on the end of it and then we're going to go ahead and rename this file to match i want it number one just for the exercise of showing you in open iv 
because when we go back to open iv and look at it there's not a way that i know of there might be but not that i know of to actually filter through the different textures the different skins again i'm sure there is but i just normally don't give that much of a care so uh, we're gonna go ahead and save that it's gonna take it a second it might even go into a not responding if i were to click on it that is absolutely normal with open iv anyone that's operated with that and skins before knows it so now let's just go ahead and open up that car and let's see what she looks like with our skin and it's on there and it actually fits fairly well with uh, the custom skin that we made for it uh, not surprising because the 16 and 18 charger are very similar so that's how you actually add a custom skin so what we will do is go ahead and hop in the game uh, and launch it however first things first we need to update that ytd so we're going to go back to our server like we had done before. So let me go ahead and pull that up for you. All right, server is up. We're going to go ahead and stop it. So that way it is out of there. You're going to go back to wherever you saved the vehicle. In this case, we did Zeker Charger. So we've got the stream here. So that YTD, that's the base that came with it. We need to get the current skin that we had uh, just made for it. So what we're going to do is take our Charger YTD. We can just drag this out here and then we're going to copy it. And then we are now gonna go back into our server and paste it. It's gonna tell you, do you wanna replace it? We do. So go ahead and answer okay to that to copy and replace. And it is about done. And now that it is, we just need to launch our server. So we're gonna go and do our starter file that we have, let this all launch, and we will see you here in a second. All right, so as you saw there, our little loading screen, it actually filters through multiple pictures for copyright reasons, not going to uh, leave that whole song in. Anyway, uh, so we popped in as the character I normally have as default. Uh, this will work fine right here. So let's just go ahead and spawn our vehicle in. So go to our vehicle spawner, spawn by name, and we are gonna do the CHGR because that's what that vehicle is named. And there it comes up with that default skin. So we need to get to the one we put in, correct? So we go to vehicle options. We're gonna go into the liveries and then we can cycle through. And there is our sheriff that we added. And again, I figured it would be pretty close since the 2016 and 18 chargers are very, very near one another, but that looks about perfect. So we wouldn't even have to do any adjusting on this one. So that is how you add the skin to an actual vehicle. Again, for actually making your own skins and editing them, uh, you are more than welcome to find all sorts of videos out there on how to do it. It's just a matter of just trying it and getting used to it, to be honest with you. But that is how you add a custom skin to that vehicle we added. So just uh, don't forget that you do need to have a little bit of a baseline knowledge of the server itself. I don't go through that in either this tutorial or the last, as you know, when we just added the car. But it is now in. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.